So, 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 so. Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly vlog. It is currently midday on Monday 24th, I think it's the 24th of April. <laughs> Oh god. Um, yeah, I completely forgot to pick up my vlog camera this morning. Um, I actually got up, got dressed um, and started work quite early this morning because I had a few things that I needed to do and I just wanted to make sure they got done um, and I was feeling quite motivated so yeah, um, I did my books, um, so wow. Oh, sunshine, love it. Um, did my books, well, finished them off because I had to pay the dreaded VAT um, and then the accountants collecting everything on Thursday. So needed to do that. Um, and then I also had a job um, that I needed to do um, and get prepared for. So I did that this morning. And now I've just got changed into my gym gear because I'm feeling so much better than what I have been. I feel like I'm starting to get my energy back. They do say that in the second trimester you tend to feel a lot better. So fingers crossed this stays. Um, so yeah, I've got my gym gear on just because I want to go and have a light workout. Don't worry guys, I'm not overdoing it. I tend to just kind of do a little bit of gentle cardio, not getting too out of breath or doing it for too long, but just, you know, something to keep my body moving and my heart um, nice and healthy. And then also I'm going to work on strengthening exercises for my arms and legs as well. Um, because I do tend to find that when I put on weight, it tends to be on my arms. Well, it tends to be all over actually. But I like to try and <laughs> work out my arms and my legs. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've just put my gym gear on. Let me show you. So this is my standard gym gear. But look at my belly. It's starting to uh, pop out a bit now. Um, and these are feeling a little bit tight. So I think I might have to invest in some different uh, workout clothes. So yes. So that is my plan. Um, I haven't had any lunch yet. So guess where I might be going on the way home from the gym? Old Greg's. Um, picking up a sandwich. Might not have a baguette this time. Might just have a sandwich because I am like ODing on bread <laughs> basically and I think this is why you know my arms are looking a bit wobbly and all of that so might try and just start cutting back a little bit on that now just because I was craving it before because I felt sick whereas now I'm starting to feel better so yes feeling very very positive today and I'm still so excited that we found out that we're having a baby girl <laughs> so exciting I, like I said um, before I wasn't bothered either way whether we had a girl or a boy as long as they were healthy um, but uh, yeah it's a girl <laughs> how exciting and I love pink as well so that's absolutely fine hello everybody happy Wednesday um, it's half past, well I've just gone half past ten and I've been up quite early again this morning. I've been making a habit of getting up, getting dressed, doing my hair straight away even before I come downstairs, going downstairs, doing a bit of tidying round and then getting straight to work and I'm finding it's really really good. Um, I will have my breakfast while I'm downstairs and sort of cleaning up and the only problem is because I'm having my breakfast earlier I'm now getting hungry. <laughs> hungrier earlier as well so I've just been downstairs and raided the fridge because obviously we had like a little buffet at the weekend and I still have some sort of snacks so don't judge these are my snacks a few eggs some cucumber and some cocktail sausages <laughs> um, I know some people might tell me off for eating cocktail sausages but oh well <laughs> sorry um, anyway, in the process of plating up my first plate of food, um, I dropped it on the floor, smashed the plate and cut my foot. So I'm currently bleeding on my foot. But I was more annoyed at the fact that all my food went all over the floor <laughs> and I had to plate up another plate of food. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to mop up my foot and then get to eating this and also finish doing some work. Um, that I've been doing this morning. 
Oh my goodness, I have just had like a five minute conversation with you guys and then my camera turned off and it turns out that I wasn't recording it. Dope. So, I'll tell you what I was telling you before. <laughs> I've done all my work on the laptop, uh, on the computer now, um, replied to emails and all that sort of stuff. Right now I am taking photographs for the embroidery kits which I've been talking about for ages. My plan was to actually do the kits, get them made up so that we could take some stock photos for the store, but that is taking longer than anticipated just because I've got so much stuff to do that I'm having to do it in like such short like periods of time. And yeah, it, they will probably go up next year if it's if we're relying on me to get them done. So um, I've showed you these before, this is what the kit's going to look like. I'm going to put this on the uh, the website so people can see what it looks like in full. And then also, I'm just, take, oh, just taking some pictures, but this is what it looks like in progress so that people will be able to see, you know, what it starts to look like as it's building and also um, the foundation of the cushion. So I've just took, taken those pictures. And then um, with the kit, obviously inside it just tells you um, like the pattern and what to do. But hopefully I'm also going to get some a tutorial up on the uh, on my YouTube channel so that people can you know follow along with that. Not necessarily the pattern, but your basics of how to do the back stitch and how to start off your project and different things like that. Oh, sorry, that's my folder of different back photo backgrounds falling down. So yeah, I'm gonna get a tutorial of that done and I'm gonna get these up on the website. So, currently my garden has, or my kitchen has all my garden furniture <laughs> um, cushions in here because we put them out the weekend and it's just a bit of a pain to just keep putting them up into the loft and taking them down. So I'm going to pack them up in the bags that we've got for them and put them in the garage. We also have some grass samples here because the grass is currently gone. So if you remember me talking about last time, there was a seam down the middle just here which we weren't happy with and it turns out that um, the people who actually laid the grass weren't too happy about the actual grass quality itself because they had a few complaints or something. So they decided that they um, were going to come and take up all of the grass so that they could lay some more and they've left us some samples here um, of the, the grass that we can choose from. We're not keen on this one even though it's nice and soft but we're just not keen on that one. This one is very similar to the one we had before, but it just feels a little bit spiky. So we actually really like the colour of this one. It's a little bit longer, so the pile's a bit thicker, and it's really nice and soft. So we're going to go for this one. So apparently they're coming tonight to do that. So looking forward to getting that sorted. And then as you can see in the back there, the um, garden furniture has had its cover taken off it. It's looking very bright out there because <laughs> obviously it's bright white furniture. Um, so yes, I've got to put these away but they are completely last on my priority list today. Um, Adam and I are going to have a um, Skype or FaceTime later just to discuss what we're going to do next week because it's the one year anniversary of Bella Coco store, yay! And he's going on holiday, how rude. How very rude. No, I'm just jealous, really. <laughs> so he's going on holiday next week, so he won't be around. Um, but, you know, we're just going to discuss, you know, a little celebrations that we might be able to do. Because um, it's very exciting. We have left it a little bit last minute, though, to be fair. But, you know, these things happen in business sometimes. So, yes. Um, that is what I've been doing. And that's the plan for the rest of the day. I also do have a tutorial to film, but I have a problem, okay? This might seem the most pettiest problem ever, but literally my nails have grown out so much, which is really good because the nails do last, but look at the growth on them. 
and I just kind of feel a little bit embarrassed because obviously, come on camera focus, obviously when I'm doing my tutorials it's like a close-up of my hands and I like my nails to look nice and I always get loads of comments on my nails so I kind of feel like it's a bit of a thing now and when they're looking, you know, not their best, I'm like, oh, what should I do? <clears throat> so I don't know whether to soak my nails off tomorrow when I'm at the college um, and then just do bare nail tutorial on it on Friday or whether to just film a tutorial today because I'm feeling really motivated to just get it done and dusted. Um, I'm going away at the weekend um, on a little spa weekend with our friends which will be really nice. Um, so I've got to get it done, got to get the video filmed and edited, uploaded by Friday night because we're off on Saturday and away Sunday. So yes, the dilemmas, the dilemmas indeed. It's a nice dilemma to have though, like, are my nails looking good or not? <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. So I'm about to head off to the gym for the second time this week, because again, I'm feeling good and I think while I'm feeling good, I should definitely be get, getting some exercise. I am for sure going to have to invest in some maternity, workout gear or at least some bigger workout gear my boobs this is probably too much information but my boobs are getting ginormous like so so big and like yeah they're just popping out over here and I like to wear sort of quite tight tops um when I work out so what I've had to do is kind of put this top on and then put a what's supposed to be a more baggy top over the top but still it's uh, showing off the bump a little bit and also the trousers are a little bit tight I think if I can get some that will fit around the bump because I don't think I'm going to be able to fit into these for much longer <laughs> so yes that is definitely on my list by maternity workout wear or at least bigger workout wear Good morning everybody, it is Friday, um, again I'm up, I'm dressed and the plan was this morning to film my video straight away this morning in order to get it done um, so that I can edit it later tonight, however Derbyshire County Council have decided that they're digging up part of the road today, um, so I'm hoping all the digging part is going to be done at least by the afternoon so I'll get on with some other stuff before I actually do that because um, where I film my videos is at the front of the house and it's like not very far away at all from where the digging and you'd hear it so that's slightly annoying um, but I'm just gonna get some uh, washing done because we are going away this weekend and I've not had chance to do any of this washing this week yet so I'm gonna do that um, I've got a few um, what are they called newsletters for the store to sort out for the weekend because it's our birthday next week um so yeah plenty to do but it's just a little bit annoying that the most important thing has to be put off until later the one good thing is that it's light later blur it's lighter later at night now so if it does have to be pushed into the evening then so be it and I've got my ring light and stuff but it must get done and edited by tonight otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it up by Sunday so yes um don't think I've got anything else planned oh I've got to nip out to Matterland to get Anthony a new little suitcase because we're also going to Scotland at the beginning of June to see my sister so um I thought if I got him a little suitcase now we could take it away at the weekend and also use it for that. Um, what else? What else? I don't know. I might nip up and see my mum later um, if I can get all these little bits that I need done. <laughs> okay, so the plan is, well, let me start by first of all saying I've drafted up a newsletter and um, just got to add some photos and do a second one which shouldn't take too long. Um, I have made a start on the tutorial for this afternoon um, the workmen have finished um, looks like they were only there for an hour or so which is really good so I can come back this afternoon and film that video um, I am going to go to Matalan and pick up um, that 
suitcase and also I'm going to nip to Mama's and Papa's. I say nip, it's about 20 minutes away, it's actually near Ikea might pop in there as well um but i'm going to nip to mamas and poppers because i know they've got a sale on this weekend i don't know if the sales on all the maternity wear stuff but i really really need some workout gear as you saw and i thought if we're going away for the spa weekend this weekend i can't actually use the spa the jacuzzi and all of that so i might take some workout gear so if i fancy it i might go in the gym um, so yeah, I'm going to go to Matalan, go to Mamas and Papas. If I am feeling it and find some gym, gym gear, I might go to the gym before I get some lunch and then I can have a shower and then I can get my hair done because I might actually film a favourites video this afternoon or some kind of lifestyle video, whether it's a pregnancy update, I don't know. So, wow, I just felt like I really, really like spoke so fast then. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway that is my plan also I've been thinking do you know what as I was planning my day I thought how lucky how lucky <laughs> how lucky am I to be in this position this is always what I've aimed for to be in the position where I am my own boss I can decide what I want to do when um and yeah just feeling super super lucky somebody commented on last week's vlog saying um you know they can't believe how i think it was sarah actually i can't believe um how well you've done in your business i could only dream of having a business like that and i said to her i was like i'm not i'm no different to you i'm no different to anybody who's watching this if you have something in your head of something that you want to do if you put your mind to it if you keep focused on it it will come i mean it's taken me what two or three years to get to this point and yes it's been a difficult two or three years there's been highs there's been lows there's been all sorts but your hard work does pay off in the end and you don't have to necessarily have a plan of how you're going to get to a certain point you've just got to know in your mind like where you want to be and it's amazing how many or how many experiences present themselves to you in order to push you in that direction um so yeah if you have a dream if you have a goal then just go for it like what's holding you back you know i started off doing my bits and bobs by doing it in my spare time literally at night and in the evening and i was literally doing it all the time but the thing is i loved it and i still do stuff all the time but i i enjoy it and i love it so yeah that's my little inspirational talk for you <laughs> um i was thinking of doing actually something on my blog like um I put in the lifestyle group the other day do you want to see any mini series of anything um lots of people were saying they want to see more lifestyle stuff which is excellent because i definitely want to do more stuff like that but also maybe like um how to start a blog how to start a youtube channel how to basically do the kind of things that i do yourself so i thought about maybe doing that kind of thing I think Harriet, who watches every week and always leaves a comment, she's fantastic. I think you would enjoy that, Harriet, actually. So, yes, that's what I think I'm going to do. Um, anyway, I'm going to get going. So I made my way to Mamas and Papas, and um, they didn't really have very much maternity wear at all. They just literally had like a rack and it was more like sleepwear rather than anything else like loungewear. Um, didn't end up going to Ikea, I just got a sandwich um, and then I decided to pop into Mothercare Nottingham on the way home because I remember seeing some stuff in Mothercare. However it must have been Mothercare Nottingham that had all the active wear. So I bought a dress from Mothercare um, for me <laughs> and then uh, what else did I get also a new pair of jeans from um, there as well and then I couldn't resist buying some baby bits as well which I also got a few bits from mamas and papas so when I get home I shall you shall, shall show you those but as soon as I get home I'm gonna film the tutorial because if I leave it too late then we'll hear all the kids in the background but it shouldn't take too long to film it's a crochet basics this week so the tutorial is all filmed and I was just putting all these little bits away in the little baby drawer that I have going on um, and then I realised I've not shown you what I bought so I'll show you while they're in the drawer 
This drawer is getting quite full already. <laughs> She's going to be a very spoilt little girl. I just keep getting carried away. So the first thing is this from Mamas and Poppers. It was reduced from £34 to 20 something pounds. But obviously because it's going to be October um, and then sort of going into December in the winter months, I just thought this would be super cute for them. Just to keep her nice and warm. And then also, let me just move a few of these bits out of the way so that I can show you. <laughs> This is what her drawer's looking like so far. Um, obviously, just recently. We've added a bit of pink in there, but um, in my true label-loving style, I've labelled these. So these are like newborn, so new baby, up to one month. So these bits are a bit bigger, and then up to three months. But some super, super cute things. Um, also from Mamas and Papas, I bought these sleep suits, they come in a pack of three. So grey with um, like little pink polka dots, um, a stripy one with a cute little bunny, and then a pink one with bunnies all over. Then um, in mother care, I got some more sleep suits. So this is like a pink um, striped one. This has little bears on. I think, oh yeah, this one says precious baby girl on the front also got some super cute little socks look how small they are um, and then a couple of well it's like a hat set so two hats and then some little mittens which are so cute but yes her, uh, her little drawer this is the first ever little bunny rabbit I bought her which is really cute um, so yes, this is the start of the drawer and the things that I've got for her already. <laughs> I didn't buy all of this, um, some of them were gifts already. So yes, super super cute. And these ones from Next as well. There's four for £18 and they've got the cutest little uh, prints on there didn't get those today but but this is just totally adorable that's gonna go in the top there then I also have this really cute blanket from next like a knitted blanket if I press that down and that is that drawer closed nope it's not squish it in a bit more nope <laughs> something's poking out go on Yes, there we go. Oh no, muslin cloths. Where can they go in the side? There. So, yes, those are the bits that we have already. Um, if anybody knows of anywhere that I can get some really cute hangers um, for when we get the wardrobe, that would be brilliant because I've looked for some, I said that to my brother earlier, I said, I wonder if like rose gold baby hangers are a thing, that would be so cute. So we've just arrived at Hollins Hall and it's really really lovely, the weather seems really nice as well which is really good for the guys because they're going out to play golf. We're just going to get something to eat first of all, then um, Jen and I are going to head to the spa area and then the boys are going to go off and play golf and then we've also booked into the a la carte restaurant uh, for later this evening so really looking forward to quite a chilled day. Hello everybody, it is currently Bank Holiday Monday and because it's Bank Holiday I'm going to roll last week into, or this, today, into last week. Um, I realised I didn't film much over the weekend just because we were just 
having a nice relaxing time and just spending time with our um, friends and things. Um, it was a really lovely weekend as I've just said. We were slightly disappointed with like the facilities especially like the spa area and things. It was literally just a pool and a couple of beds. <laughs> In fact there were four beds for the whole place um, to lounge on and two of them had like mouldy cushions. <laughs> So the spa area wasn't brilliant but it was lovely to just sit and have a chat with our friends and just catch up with them because we don't see them that often anymore. Um, and then we also went out for something to eat that night which I think you saw, I think I put a clip in of the outfit that I wore um, and that meal was really really nice. Um, and then we went and watched the boxing after in the, in the bar and then I went to bed because I was so tired. Um, and then we had to end up ended up having to leave a little bit earlier in the morning because it was the Yorkshire, I can't remember what it was called, some kind of like bike race and um, the actual road where the hotel was was being closed off for the whole of the day from 10 o'clock so we had to kind of just escape otherwise we would have been um, there till at least 4 o'clock so we left um, nice and early and came home and I never really sleep very well when I'm in, in a bed that I know that I'm going to be in for one night so I didn't sleep brilliantly well so we just came home and chilled for the rest of the day. Um, this morning had a bit of a lie-in and then Anthony and I have just been to mother care because we've just ordered the furniture for the baby's room which is really exciting so that should be here between 7 and 10 days. So my mission this afternoon is to further talk, sort that room and find where all of my personal stash of Leon is going to go. <laughs> so yes, also as well I think we're both going to have to condense down some of our shoes that we both own um, and Anthony will have a box and I'll have a box and that's all we get. So yes, it's a bit more decluttering and just making space for the baby. So I'm going to end the vlog here so that I can just get on with that. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this week. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to this channel so that you um, get a notification of when the new vlogs are live. But generally it's every Wednesday around 6, 7 o'clock. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in again this week. I shall see you again next week. Bye!